All right, all right, all right. It's your boy Minxley, and we're back here at Black Sess Tavern. So uh, tonight we have uh, we have a good friend of mine that actually know since what like two, 2017. Yeah, my good friend Kalani. You know, Let's say hi, Kalani. Just Black Sess family. <laughs> okay. So, um, before we get started, I want to remind you guys, hey, um, like, comment, subscribe, you know, um, and uh, in the comments, let's go ahead and get some questions going again. I'll answer any question, honestly, or to the best of my knowledge of whatever's going on, you know. Um, uh, but if there's a question about myself or whatever, I will honest, honestly answer. So... Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, tonight we doing a little something different because I got a little toy that I've been wanting to play with here on the tavern and uh, tonight's the night. So I have a electric grill. So I got it plugged up, sitting here in the tavern. And what are we having, having tonight? We doing some, uh, some shrimp skewers. Got a little shrimp on it, little, and, and some pineapple. You know, kind of make it a, a, a what, what is that? A, um, a sh what is that? What's, kind of like your shish kebab. Yeah, like your shish kebab. You know, shish kebab. All right. So let's go ahead and get a couple of these and see how these jokers taste. You know, let's get let's get a few of these on. One for you. One for me. We have a couple of we have a couple of them. You want two of them? Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Okay, you got one for me. Um got a couple more just in case. Um as far as drinks go, I asked my good friend earlier today I mean, uh, what kind of drink she liked. She said her favorite would be sex on the beach. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, me personally, I like sex. I'm in the car, I'm, I'm, I'm wherever. So, check this out. We, so, tonight, we're doing sex on the beach. Sounds good to me. Okay, look. <laughs> well, okay, so, Nalani, let me tell you about Black Sun's Tavern, how we do things here. Okay. Our, our thing is, we like, um, uh, we eat, we drink, we laugh. We party, and tonight, I'm going to tell you, but that's what we plan to do straight across the board. We're going to eat, we're going to drink, we're going to laugh, we're going to party, we're going to have a good time. So, uh, so, you ready for that? Yeah. Okay, look, we got our food. Um, let's get our drinks up. Let's get the sex on the beach going. Okay. Okay. I might have to go ahead and make up some drinks. We're going to do, uh, uh, we're going to have some sex in the car. We're going to have sex in the hoopty. <laughs> we gonna need to oh, let's see, let's get this on out of here. We're gonna need that. Okay, cool. Now put you in here for right now. We're gonna need some eyes. You know. Yeah. Hey, you like that one there? Okay, look, I'm gonna be telling you, this is the one song out of four, almost five, because I'm working on my fifth album. Out of four albums, this is the one song where I didn't write the chorus. What? Really? Wow. Now, on the chorus, the guy who's uh, who's doing the uh, uh, doing the chorus part, and, um, he went by Big Logic. Uh -huh. You know, he actually had a, he had an album out some some years ago, uh -huh. like like in the late '90s. And um, and then, uh, but he he did the female. He wrote the female part. The female, my female friend, you know, um, she, uh, uh, Dee Dee, she wrote the part. The logic's going in the court. Wow. You know, so if, if we ever do a trivia, you might remember that. You might want to remember <laughs> that. And I'm gonna bring it up. And you'll see who remembers it. Okay, we got the ice. We gonna need some vodka. Uh -huh. Same sounds. 
We need some peach snaps. Where's she at? Where's she at? Peach snaps. There she goes. There she goes. I had to check and make sure I had everything in the in the tavern for this. And I was happy to see I had everything I needed. <laughs> so I made sure so, so I was happy and I and, and I was Hello, celebrating. Man, Gotta get some orange juice. Okay. And then we gotta get the 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 stir. Gotta get the stir in here. And I ain't gonna lie, I had to practice this one earlier, and I was feeling good. I was feeling good after practice. You know. You, get, uh, you can't just do stuff without practice, am I right? All right. All right. Okay, so we need a strainer. Put the strainer on there. I'm seeing six of people wind it up. Okay, this one was yours. Let's go ahead and get you a little sex on the beach. And me, a little sex on the beach. Well, we don't. Uh, um, um, we have to talk about these choices. I, you know what? Here's a funny thing. I was looking in the, in the bar book, and I ended up seeing uh, seeing names for drinks called like Screaming Orgasm. Um, there was some. Uh, woo. So I don't know who didn't name them. How you gonna name a drink? Screaming orgasm. Is it gonna scream while you drinking it? I guess you. Uh, I guess it's gonna make you scream like you're having an orgasm. That's what you're gonna do. It's gonna have you to feel right. All right. This, okay. Let's try this. The uh, black says tavern. That's really nice. That is really nice. That's good. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. This song right here, my father hates it. He hates this song. Because I talked about him in the third verse and he didn't like it. I actually performed this one on TV. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would say I'm sorry, Pop, but... We are on, on good terms now, though. But, I mean, it is. Oh, okay. It, you know? Okay, let's try these skewers. Let's see how these skewers are running, you know? You know, see, Black Sus Tavern has the best bar foods. You know what? If I get a chance to open up an actual bar called Black Sus Tavern, holla at your boy. No. Let me unplug that joker before we haul off and have some burnt skewers. Okay. <laughs> now, okay, real quick. Kalani, please tell me, tell us. A little bit about yourself, you know, you know what what you do for fun, you know what make you laugh, what make you smile. Okay, my name is Kalani Hackworth. I'm 51. The 51 work, works good. Black no cracker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that my. Thing for fun is having a very laughable, uncontrollable happiness. You know what? Nah, I'm not with you on that. You can say <laughs> laugh your happy. You laugh, you're happy. Be happy. Yeah. All right. Now, earlier we were talking in. I told you we normally do drunk stories. No, I understand that you don't really have any drunk stories. You're not really a big drinker. No. And I understand, you know. Um, me personally, I have plenty of drunk stories. Not that I'm an alcoholic <laughs> or anything. I'm just not as thick as you drunk I am. <laughs> Let's see, what would my drug story be for today? Um, okay, 
some, um, some years ago, okay, I, uh, I've been married twice, never had a wife, but when I was with my, I'll have to explain that one to y'all one day, and hey, it is what it is, but when uh, when I was with my first wife, no, we, we, we actually broke up, and me personally, um, I'm not one who do, who uh, believe in hitting women, but she was violent. So, we broke up, and I'm not going to lie, I did something I probably shouldn't have did. But some people would understand, because I'm a man, okay. you know, and we do stupid stuff. So okay. I went on a date with her neighbor. <laughs> no, that's not a drunk story. I wasn't drunk. Yeah, you saw it. <laughs> no, I wasn't drunk that time. That should be a good drink. <laughs> Okay, this might be my, tonight might be my drunk story. I'm talking about stuff that I ain't even been. <laughs> head back. Okay. Okay, a drunk story for tonight. Okay. Um, oh my goodness, what's just wrong with me today? I don't know. Oh, drunk story. Now, my cousin Alfonso was with me for this because we was end up doing some, we, we had a few nights where we just did some really stupid, some stupid stuff. And um, just happens to be the same night as the uh, situation from last time, uh, uh, from the, the last episode where I got saved from going to jail with a, uh, by a bottle of uh, um, Cisco. Uh, yeah, hey, I, I've had some way up nights. Hey, it is what it is. But this particular night, I just had, I was just on one. Um, but somebody I was dating on and off, you know, she said that she was pregnant. She got pregnant with my baby. And then because she was pissed at me, she had aborted my baby. And I was like 19 years old. I was too drunk. I was too young to be drinking. Okay. Something like that. Too drunk to be drink, uh, too, too drunk to be youngin. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I was too young to be drinking, and then th- I guess that stands a reason. Wait. I was like nineteen. You can't get it out. <laughs> I've on, I've only had like forty. <laughs> hey, you want You guys only you seeing one of them. <laughs> I had to practice. <laughs> So I'm sitting in the car with my cousin Alfonso, and we call him Pee Wee. I plan on getting him on the show. So Pee Wee, if you see this, you're coming. I'm gonna get you here. You're coming. All right. Look. So I got Pee Wee in the car with me. He's my big cousin. You know, he's the one cousin I actually, uh, 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 I mean, literally blood cousin that I have. This holy. Um. So my cousin Pee Wee, he's, he's just trying to get me calm down. I'm like, man, this woman to kill my baby. And I'm like, uh, you know what? I'm going to kill her. Pee Wee said, man, you ain't about to do that. <laughs> I turned that car on. He, he turned around, grabbed it. Give me the, get out the car. <laughs> Made me get out my own car. Put me out my car. <laughs> That's my drunk story. I was tripping. It is what it is. Okay. And like I said, I do understand. You don't have any drunk stories. I mean, unless you got you thought of something that you don't know. No. no. Okay. We're going to have to get her, get a few more drinks up for her so she can come back later and have a drunk story. All right. So if you know Kalani. All right. Work on it. And then, now, let's get serious. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit serious. We're going to talk okay. about reparations. Okay. All right. You know, uh, a lot of people have been talking about blacks deserve reparations. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, we deserve to have what's ours. Society. Yeah. They just need to just give, give 
I mean, what, what pays for is ours, I guess. You know, I mean, because I mean, uh, um, if you do a job, you want to get paid for it. Our, our ancestors did did um, hundreds of uh, did uh, over two hundred years worth of work yep. and didn't get paid for it. Yep. And then every time we built ourselves up, which they say build yourself up up by your own bootstraps. Yeah. And every time we built ourselves up, you got um, um, Greenwood, you know, up Black Wall Street. Yeah. You have uh, uh, there was many other things that happened that was similar to Black Wall Street where they just went and where they seen us growing and they just found an excuse. Oh, um, some, uh, some woman was killed. Some woman was raped. Some woman was uh, kidnapped. So we're going to come and just tear out the whole town and then take all the land. One, at one time, there was actually, they were just straight about it. Blacks wanted to to um, to vote. And they lit. They and, and for that they went and burned down and, and burned down their town. You know, me personally. Okay, do you think they should just cut a check, or do you think they need to do like a, some kind of program? Like, I think they should just cut a check. Okay. Now, me personally, I, I, I agree with you to a point. The problem is we have too many people right now who's been hurt behind, who's been in bad situations behind what happened. So me personally, I believe that we need to uh, 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 do reparations for, like what the name say, repair the situation. You know what I mean? Like you say, uh, no, would you like another one? Okay. So what, uh, what I think they should do is for people who are who, who are what they call and some people are just calling ADOs um, um, uh, American descendants of slaves those of, those of us who are uh, on drugs or homeless or whatever yeah. I think they should um, put, some, put some of the money towards the rehabilitation you know and, what, and and then uh, once um, rehabilitated, uh, once rehabilitated, then uh, use money to um, for housing and put them, putting them, um, uh, giving them what they need in order to succeed. You know, like um, some type of um, like tools or whatever that they would need to have a career. Yeah. You know, that way they can build themselves up. Yeah. You know. Um, for people who's not on drugs and working, I think they should do a, an ADOS. Well, well, first of all, yes, cut some kind of check. Yeah. But for every year, at the end of the year, when you when you do your taxes, I think we should have an ADOS t- uh, t- uh, tax break. So when you so like if. if um, when you do your taxes, you uh, um, uh, you uh, you claim your kids, you do all your, do all your claims, and then if uh, your adults, then they then you have the the the, uh, the adults tax break kicks in, which the same the same five thousand a year. So adults tax break so, so five thousand a year. So at the end, at the beginning of every year, you get five thousand dollars. Wow. How's that sound? That's not good. Yeah, so, and that just be your anal sex break. Yeah. You know, now every year you're already paying into that. Yeah. You about working. And then when you, um, um, so at the end of the year, you get get that back. You know, in your anal tax break, plus your um, plus the taxes that you uh, that you're supposed to get paid back anyway. You know, and that's just that's the way I, I you know what I mean. Um, and I do believe some, you know, uh, cutting the check uh, right off the rip. I think that that is a that is a plus. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. yeah, because it, because that way you're helping the people. You're not just because because the thing is, you know how um, um, how many people will OD if you just start running around. Your ados, here's a check. Your ados, here's a check. Your ados, here's a check. 
people are going to be ODing and all kinds of stuff. You got fentanyl and all this stuff out. Yeah. You know, uh, heroin, um, crack cocaine is not that big anymore, but it's still out there, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, methamphetamine. Yeah. These people are going to be um, uh, out here dying on, in the streets. Yeah. You know? Um, well, that's just how I think we should do it, you know. Hopefully, hopefully um, they actually do go into doing um, some kind of uh, uh, reparations, and I think that would be a good thing to to consider. Yeah. You know, a, a way, a good way to do it. You know what I mean? So. Now, let's see. I need a. This is why I drink. We deal with stupid stuff all day. People are just crazy as hell. I mean, we, we deal with them in traffic. We deal with them in just everyday life. And uh, but in fact, I've done security work. I've done maintenance, apartment maintenance work. I, I'm now a truck driver. I do, do, uh, work with developmentally disabled clients. Yeah. Woo! Let me tell you, I have dealt with some stuff, with some people to where <laughs> at the end of the day, be like, you know what? I need a drink. Okay. And uh, that's where, what I mean by this is why I drink. You know what I mean? For me, um, when I was like 18, I got my first real job working uh, with developmentally disabled clients in a six bed facility. Okay? Yeah. High five, well, not high functioning. These were from, I mean, uh, so they were in wheelchairs and all that. But we have one client. I'm not sure it would be a good idea to put the names out. But there was one client um, who was such a handful. He was known for biting people and all kind of stuff. That they hired a group of people just to deal with him. Because normally they have two, two people working in the house. They had to have three people. One because of that one client, okay, because that client was off the chain, okay, I had to deal with stuff with, like, because uh, I was still young, yeah. so, and I wasn't used to him, so, like, yeah. he would do stuff just to pass for me, and I mean, literally, when I say he's, like, low-functioning, I mean, he just, like, you can't have a real conversation with him, you know what I mean, wow. but he, he was still bright enough yeah. to know how to pick on people, yeah. like, I'd be walking past him, and he would just touch my arm. And I'm like, whoa! And he thought it was the funniest thing on earth. Because I thought he was going to try to bite me. You know, so I'm jumping, whoa! And he, and he, <laughs> like, okay, you know what? Now, my first day, and at that time, I was a bit slimmer, but I'd had a little, you know, cut to me. So I, you could tell I had a little, little on your boy, right? Now, I had to change this client's uh, diaper. And he had one limb that worked. Okay? That was his right arm. Okay, so I get him on the bed and I take his diaper off. And uh, I'm trying to get the new diaper ready to put on him. And while I'm working on that diaper, I feel this. And I look over and the hand just because remember, he's laying over here. Yeah. So I feel this. I look over here just, and just pull me down. And now he has me in the headlock and cracking up loud. And I mean, I'm like fighting with this dude. He's just laying there. What am I? I like that night. Oh, you, 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 you empty. I, I ain't trying to get nobody uh, uh, um, I ain't trying yeah, to get nobody inebriated. I ain't trying to get nobody inebriated. I'm going to let you know that right now. Okay. He ain't trying to get me lit. <laughs> but that night, that is why I drink. Actually, that was why I wanted to drink. I couldn't drink back then. Yeah, I was 
too young to drink. I shouldn't have been drinking back then. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't drinking back then. Okay. Kids, don't drink till you can't drink 21. I ain't gonna tell you when I started. Now here's one that's supposed to be a bit serious, but it can be funny. Carrots. Oh Lord, how mercy. Look here. Have you had any, any Karen incidents? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, see, that's why, this is why I drink. See, she lied. She said she didn't have it. This is why I drink. Look, come on. Let me hear Karen incident. Okay, I was coming home. Were you drunk? Uh, huh? Were you drunk? No, I wasn't Okay, okay. I, I was trying to find a drug story. I was coming home, and I got to my gate, and this lady stopped me, literally. She stopped me, and she said to me, she said, it's going to be all right. You don't have to look like that. But what she had on made me look like <laughs> Who was she with? <laughs> she had a hula hoop dress on her head. Then she had a headband wrapped around her hula hoop. Uh, like, like, like a luau type thing? Or? Yeah. Oh. And okay. she had the headband wrapped around her head, right? Then she got on a. Uh, uh, Baby suit top off. Then she has this look like paper wrapped around her. And I don't have somewhere to party at. I'm on my way. <laughs> look at the, uh, she looked at a hot mess. She looked like she had grease all over her face. She's shining hella bright. Gave me that look, like you know. So, well, I thought I was going to end up having me a reason to sue Costco. <laughs> oh, I was looking for it. I was looking for it. I had a mail carrier, and he and and and, and, and luckily for him. His, his, uh, the, uh, the people who was working under him Because he was like the manager People working under him came out and saved him Because stopped him before he went too far Because I went to deliver a load Because like I said, I'm a truck driver now So I go to do, deliver a load And uh, when I get uh, uh, when I get there, I get signed in You know and they t- and uh, and I'm like, okay, I need, need to go to the restroom. So I go to the restroom. Y'all don't need to know what happened in there. <laughs> I'm coming back out the restroom, and uh, I get this guy. He's he's like, uh, he's like, hey, wait a minute, where are you going? I'm gonna be. I'm going back to my truck. He's like, oh, what? Are you, uh, can I help you? Uh, yeah, um, well, I'm like, no, I mean, I'm just going back to my truck. He said, well, what are you doing here? I said, I'm a driver. He said, you're a driver? And uh, and I'm, and that's when I was like, oh, Mel Karen time. Go, let's get it. And all of a sudden, everybody come running out. No, no, he's a, he's with Legend. He's with Legend. <laughs> oh, I was looking for my, I was looking for it. I was, I was ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. So, how do you feel about like about these the, the influx of Karens? So, because I'm gonna tell you like this. I think care, the Karen epidemic. That's something that we've been dealing with, especially as black people. We've been dealing with, but now with the uh, video cameras. It just makes it more obvious, you know, because they, they've been in our business for years, all up in our faces for years, 
You know, male, female cares, all of them. All of them. So, how, how do you feel about the, about cares being exposed? It's a good thing, and it's a bad thing. Okay. Because it's not right. It's that thing that you can do to a woman that she can't do to a man. And they're being um, um, uh, held accountable for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. some of them lose their jobs. Some yeah. of them are going to jail. Yeah. You know. But the other hand, it's a bad thing because you're sitting there going through this for no reason. Really? No reason. And, and, and I hear, but see, see, that's the beautiful thing about about people who've been going through it for years already. Because yeah. we're like thick skinned. So we're like, okay, well, what you want to do? You know? It's like hitting me with a big beach ball over and over because you're trying to get on my nerves. And, and, yeah. But, but, I mean, because me personally, I'll just be like, look, I can't, look, um, uh, I'm, I'm just ready for it. I'm waiting. I want a real care. Care! Come see me. I'm waiting, Karen. No, no, come see him, no. I'm waiting, Karen. No. I want a corporate care. Someone who got money in their pocket. Because I'm about to go ahead and shoot. And we going to act up. Man, you want another truth? You got the truth. Yeah, I'm out here. Yeah, this one down there. Let me know if you want it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tonight, I'm going to do something a little different. Something I've been meaning to do anyway because of the fact that I um, started this channel as a part way to promote my music. Okay, my goal right now is to, uh, well, tonight, I'll do one perform one of my songs actually on the show. Okay. Okay. And uh, this is one that, that uh, <clears throat> A lot of people, um, a lot of people actually give me a lot of love for it. It's just one song called uh, Over 40. Now, that being said, now last month, I actually wanted to perform Over 40. And, um, and, and uh, because uh, there were some birthdays last year, last week, last month, last month. Woo! Yeah, you you need to stop drinking that. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? This is a tavern. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> Look here. Look here. It would be impossible for me to get a DUI on my way home from Black Sus Tavern. Now if you ever hear about me getting a DUI on my home way home, on my home way. Black Sus Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> that right there would be Yeah, that means then I, at that point I need some help. You're gonna have to do an intervention. Yeah, you need a serious intervention. <laughs> but for now I'm good. But that being said, now I want there's a couple that was a couple birthdays last month. You know, uh, Rose Rochelle, she had a birthday. Beautiful young lady. Great wedding, great singer, you know. So, happy birthday. Let's see. Uh, Pat, a good friend of mine, Pat, she had a birthday last month. Happy birthday. You know, lovely ladies, lovely ladies. Um, let's see. Uh, Monique had a birthday. Happy birthday, Monique. Um, you see, you see, there was some. Let's see. Um, actually, that was a birthday this month. You know, um, 
Cherie, happy birthday to you. You know, now I got to do a special shout out because someone has been showing me a lot of love for that solo over 40. Okay, my good friend Kim, I love you, Kim. And we got to get together, hang out again soon. You know, crazy as you is, crazy as I is. You know, we uh, we got to get together, hang out, act up. You know, we got to get out and act up again because it's been a while since we did that. Um, so I do thank you. I thank you guys for all your love and all your support. So tonight. I love y'all, and so much love for my friends, my family, you know, all the people give me support, so that being said, we're going to go ahead and get this set up, and I'm going to do the song for you, you know, I love this part. When I, uh, we made this song, when I made this song, we let a bunch of friends by here, and we ended up out in the middle of the, the street dancing. So, so, She make me want it. Come on. She make me wanna. She know she make me. 
Ages is a number, so maybe there's a chance that I could be the one to engage her a romance. Hold her up so how she looked down on queens. Rule the world from the clouds with me as a king. All that I have and all that I gain will be equally hers. My heart be the same. There will be no gain. Just love between two as is her and dedicate my heart and body to with you. Over 40, you're still the perfect shorty you got to represent this beautiful thing. Give you over 40 and your finest wine. You got to represent because you're in your prime. I said, over 40, you're still the perfect shorty you got to represent this beautiful thing. Give you over 40 and your finest wine. You gotta represent cause you in your prime. I said that. Uh, come on. She make me wanna. She know she make me wanna. Over 40? And you ain't say black don't crack, baby. I'm seeing them in the 40, 50, 60s. I didn't know some in their 70s and the black ain't cracking. Okay, but that being said, you know, I want to thank y'all. Like I said, um, a special shout out to Kim. You know, Kim is straight. Love you. Hey, um, put this down. Look. I just broke my mic. All right. <laughs> Chemistry, I love you. I'm going to buy another one. Hey, but check this out. Um, we gonna go to cut this for the night. Hey, um, 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 uh, uh, thanks for, uh, for checking us out. I'm here at Blackstone's Tavern. Hey, we got people trying to come in. June show. Hey, this is where we eat, we drink, we laugh, we party. And apparently it's about to be a party tonight. <laughs> I'll holler at you later. <laughs> <laughs>